Okay, so I'm just going to record this one. It was due to be a live stream and I got about a minute through the live stream and it stopped. But this is my A-level physics uh, summer project. It's my A-star physics summer project. It's not specifically for A-level. It's really intended this um, for people finishing GCSEs and going on to the A-levels and looking forward to that and wanting to get the highest grades possible. But if you are trying to get the highest grade possible at GCSE or A-level, then this is for you. If you're in year 12, year 13, then this is for you. If you're in year 10 and you're looking forward to doing your GCSEs next year, then this is still for you. This is a project anyone can do anyone can contribute to so I'll, I'll jump straight into it just now and then I'll give you a bit of information about it so this summer project is an astrophysics summer project so it's all about space and it's making a flow chart for the development of key theories in astrophysics and there are links in the description to enable you to do that you could do it on your own or you could do it in a group and more about that in a second um, this is a summer project that I say it's all about getting interested because I think and you know guerrilla physics is all about you getting the highest grades and one thing that is definitely all people who get the highest grades in their GCSEs available is always have in common is that they actually quite enjoy studying they they're interested in what they're doing so they get into it and they go for it okay so really I want you to be interested in the study that you're going to do and this is one way that you can make sure that you can do that so um, as I say, there are links in description which are just going to give you the headings that you can use. Now this is all about, this is actually contributing to my book which is called Prepare for the Challenge of A-Level Physics. So if you're looking forward to getting the highest grades then you need to be getting ready now for A-Level Physics. And if you're in year 12, um, you just finished year 12, then you need to be getting ready now for you know those really difficult year, those really difficult exams that are coming at the end of year 13. So um, do get involved with this and do enjoy it as well. So I'll just bump straight into the um, the different headings that there are for this flow chart and what I'm going to suggest is that you kind of stick to these headings and as I said they are in the description there's a link uh, to a Google Drive document and I've written them in the description as well so here they are primitive man firstly what did they think about um, space early civilization so before the Greeks and that's the next one the Greeks How, what did they know about space what did they know about astrology um, astronomy I should say um, Copernicus, what did what did he figure out? Tycho Brahe, you know, what was was his um, his contribution? Kepler, Galileo, and Newton. Now at Newton, it kind of stops being our individual scientists, and you can search all these things up. Um, they're they're designed to go straight into a search engine, really. And then you just find it kind of add detail. And I wanted to see you making links between the different theories that people have come up with. So it stops being about people at Newton because now we're into Newtonian physics, which is more about collaboration and things like that. So how did they measure the moon's acceleration, planetary motion? Mass, the masses of the sun and Jupiter, how do they work those things out? The um, comets and tides, how do they know what they, they were, how they worked? Um, the mass of the moon, how do they measure that? Irregularities in the motion of the moon, what are they? Bulge of the earth, progression of equinoxes. And then there's a second list as well, and I accidentally put bulge of the earth twice. Um, second list is um, perturbations of planets, and I can't say that word, but I can write it. Einstein's theory of gravity. So now we're into Einsteinian physics. So what came next? You know, Einstein's theory. Oh, I don't want to give that away too much, but it's exciting. Hubble and the expanding universe. The space race. What did they, um, what did they learn by doing that? Uh, cosmic microwave background radiation, the cosmological principle, cosmic distance ladder, which is all about how we measure distances in space. And these are really important things now for our A-level. Um, but, you know, get involved, get interested about more than just the, what's in the syllabuses. Stellar classification evolution, so Wine's Law, Stefan's Law, Hertzsprung-Russell diagrams, the schwartz style radius, exploring our own solar system, neutron stars, pulsars, black holes, Hubble, t um, Hubble telescope, which is an incredible thing. We've learned so much from the pictures that Hubble telescope has given us and the deep field image. And if you only do look at one thing, definitely look at that, because if you don't know about that, it will blow your mind. Um, large scale structure of the universe. We've, we've just recently had a lot more um, understanding about, I'm giving you too much information about what it looks like uh, if we could really zoom out and look at our universe in the large scale. Um, critical density and you know what's the ultimate fate of our universe and now we're into dark matter and dark energy so there's absolutely loads and it could could be more than just this list if you wanted it to so that's the list and that's the um, you know the topics that you can actually include in your flowchart there is more than one way to do this you can do this on your own or you can do this as a group you can do this actually collaborating with loads of other people and I suggest that's a really interesting way to do it is actually go ahead 
and collaborate with other people. Um, the, there is two Google Drive links, one that's just got the headings in and one that has uh, one that has the headings in, but it is also open for anybody to edit. So you could actually sit and work with other people and do a little bit of your own research, contribute to um, the flowchart, make it your own, but also help other people make it their own as well. I think that's a really exciting way to do. Um, because I think that you know working with other people is one way to really enjoy your study. And that is one of the most important things that people who get the top grades, what they do is they really enjoy studying. So this task and the one I'm gonna come back with next week, hopefully live, but maybe recorded, um, the one I'm gonna come back with next week is uh, gonna be a task um, about enjoying yourself, about enjoying um, physics and getting ready and preparing yourself for that challenge next year. Because whatever way you look at it, A-level is a massive challenge. If you're in year 12, go into year 13, then get ready for a really challenging year. If you're in year um, 11 going into year 12, then get ready for a really challenging year. If you're in year 10 going into year 11, then just get excited and have a go at some of these tasks as well. Now, if you do have a go at this, then be, please email me. If you do the solo one or if you contribute to the group one, then please email me at kit at gorillaphysics.com and I will send you a preview copy of this book, which is Prepare for the Challenge of A-Level Physics. And it's gonna have um, some really good experiments you can do at home, just some kind of questions for you to think about and loads of things, loads of tasks which are going to help you with the skills that you need for your A-level physics. So getting ready for it is I think one of the crucial things to do. I will be back on results day and I'll be putting this out as a ebook on GCSE results day. I will really look forward to hearing how well you guys did so please do pop in um, to the live streams on that day. Hopefully they're going to be live. If not comment on any videos I put up on those days. Um, and um, I'll be back with an ebook on that day, and then hopefully shortly after that, it will be paperback launch. And um, you know, maybe you can buy one of these for real as a kind of a little study guide as well going forward. Lots of tips on how to study and make sure you're a success at A level physics. All right, thank you very much for watching. I apologise if you've um, tried your best to <laughs> persevere with the live streams and it just didn't come off um, but hopefully you get this and hopefully you can have a go at this um, I'll see you in a week with another little um, space themed topic which is actually another little space themed challenge which is actually something you can do as a practical all right thanks very much for watching